DNA is an intensive discipleship year focusing on an individual's character, who they are in Christ. It's taking people and discipling them in the context of church. It's an intense year of uh, development in God. DNA is for anybody who is up for doing that, who is up for saying, hey, here's a year of my life. Finding and identifying people who want to make a difference with their lives. Looking to develop greater levels of wholeness and maturity and strength on the inside. A common misconception is often that DNA is just for young people, but it's not, it's for anyone of all ages. But a bit like a greenhouse, I guess, where God matures you much faster than you can in the normal course of life. People who what, what to be what I would call breakthrough women and men of God. I feel like I've got to know God a lot more and got to know myself a lot more through that, who I am in God. I've got this whole new family who love and support me and want God's best for me no matter what. I can see the change in myself and so have other people back home which has been phenomenal. You get to see the differences in people and what God's doing and that's just really cool. If you want God to really set you free and you really want to discover what he has for your life then do the DNA. Fast tracking, incredible, lots of love, lots of grace, encouragement and lots of change. Foundational. Relationship. Release potential. Equipping. Finding security. The essence of DNA is about finding and identifying people who want to make a difference with their lives, people who want to be what I would call breakthrough women and men of God. It's a, a year of discipleship, it's a year where people decide to, to just give a year over to God, basically to have his way in their lives. DNA is about having a year where you are available to God for him to do whatever in your life and in terms of character and gifting. Looking to develop greater levels of wholeness and maturity and strength on the inside before looking at their giftings. It's about people maturing, growing, developing in their relationship with God, uh, their sense of identity with Him, their security, their character. Taking them and in the context of church, discipling them into wholeness and therefore fruitfulness. And for them just to see breakthrough in their lives, to, to see more freedom um, and just to kind of walk in the fullness of life um, that Jesus talks about in John 10.10. 10. It is about identity before function. People discovering what God has in his heart for them and what they should be giving their lives to. DNA is for anyone over the age of 18. In Scotland that's 17 because of the different educational system, but it's for anyone over the age of 18 that recognises the Lordship of Christ in their life, wants to make a difference for the Kingdom of God, and we're delighted that there is no top age range. I came on DNA because I wanted a year out after school um, just to serve God and get involved in church. I decided to do DNA um, because I really felt like God was uh, calling me to do it. I wanted something that was going to challenge me both in my faith and my knowledge of who God was and just to grow in confidence. The benefits of having people of different ages and cross-generation on DNA can be really to do with the interaction between them, that they bring their different experiences and passions of some of the people who are maybe older in life, have got a richer experience of life, and they share that into the mix of the year, and that's very special. Pete Gilbert came and spoke at our church, and it sort of hooked me, really. I felt God really challenged me um, to go back to my roots with him, so um, I guess all the characteristic things of him, so like his love. I came on DNA because I heard about it. Some people came in France, and some people who did that before and uh, I was looking to just have base in Jesus and that one year just to study more. DNA runs across a full, well, pretty much a full year, 11 months. We start at the beginning of October and we finish at the end of August. There are three terms within that. And over the course of that time, we would have every trainee together with us for 13 two-day training blocks and also for three residentials, beginning, middle and end of their year. About every two or three weeks, 13 times across the year, everyone who's on DNA, we gather together. And uh, that is for teaching, for training, for praise, for worship, for prayer together and discussion. We teach across more than 90 different topics with uh, around 40 or 50 different speakers, all of them known to us, trusted by us, all of them practitioners, all of them church based so they know what they're talking about. Well I love coming to DNA each year to teach because um, the young people are so enthusiastic, they want to learn and it's really good to be able to pass on principles and teaching to young people who are going to affect the next generation. As, as a teacher on the DNA course I, I really enjoy you know, being able to express not just my experience 
but being able to see how people respond to that experience. I love the teaching. Um, it's very varied as well, from everything from deep theological issues up to you know how to work with old people. All the people who come and speak, uh, you can see how they speak that they have, they live in it, they live in what they teach. We've got three tracks that are available to DNA. The track one is the one that most people do, and that gives you the fullest experience of DNA. They get placed in a church or at their home church. Everything is included in the fees, including all the extra trips that they get to do. Every DNA trainee on track one will have an opportunity to serve in another European nation as part of a team, serving for two weeks. Uh, into that nation, serve in a community in a variety of capacities. You would have opportunities to serve at spring harvest or on summer evangelism experiences and so on. So that's very full on. Track two is really for those who maybe want a bit more flexibility in their year, maybe a part-time experience of DNA, but you still would get on track two all the elements of discipleship. So it is very, very much still a discipleship year. It's more flexible and a little bit more accessible. So some of the people who've done track two in the past will be people who have part-time jobs or who are, who are mothers of children in primary school age or so on, and they just need a bit more flexibility. Track three is even more of a step back where people just buy into sessions. So they see some of the curriculum that we teach and they think, oh, I'd quite like to come to that, but they don't get anything else that is involved with the DNA process. Every year we have a few with us on track three. It's a great way of just learning more about your faith we, particularly if you don't have too much time uh, free to commit to that. Then the other track that we have is Mission Track, and Mission Track is very similar to Track 1 for the first two terms, but then the, the primary difference is that it's all geared towards that third term in which people will spend three months in, in a developing world context, maybe India, South Africa, Brazil, those are some of the places we've used in the past. We also have a second year programme which is called DNA Plus, and that's been running for several years as well. And that is for those who have all done DNA and want to stay connected to us as the DNA team for the benefit of their future leadership development. They feel that they're at a stage in their calling and their purpose in church or community or workplace where some input into their leadership is, is important for them. We really only want the people with us on DNA that God wants to be with us. I did an early DNA course and it really laid the foundations for so much else that I've got to go and, and do in my life and I highly commend it to you. We love having DNA students because, this sounds a bit cliched, but it's, they do what it says on the tin, it's the best discipleship training programme. The curriculum is just superb, it covers so many fundamental areas of Christian truth and, uh, and it being linked to the local church is just, it's just great, that's what we need to see. It's really great having the quality of DNA guys come on board to look after the small groups that we have. So the young guys on team, they really work really well with them, praise, support them, it's fantastic, they're a great group of people to have with us. DNA will equip an individual uh, to go out in their future into either the workplace or into uh, a church environment and to serve God effectively. So if you're up for change and if you're up for challenge, if you know that you're not the finished product but you have a heart and a dream to do things for God, then I would urge you to look into DNA. We may very well be exactly what you need to fulfil the dreams and the destiny that God has put in your heart. If you're thinking of doing DNA, what you would receive is a year of intensive discipleship where you are our prime concern. DNA is for you if you're someone who just wants to learn more about God. If you're someone who's really serious about seeking God, seeking to be secure in your foundations with God before you go and do anything else, DNA is definitely for you. I'd say it might be scary at the thought of it, but it's really worth the risk. I took a massive risk doing this and I'm not the only one who did that and I just feel that God's been really faithful. You're not just on your journey on your own with God, like when you do TNA you've got all these other people around you. You're never too old for DNA. I loved God before but during DNA I, I really got closer to God. A year of discipleship. Extremely developmental. Identity. Relationship. Life changing. Transformation. Freedom. Phenomenal. Equipping. Transformative. Is that a real word? Allez-y, ne manquez pas ça. Go for it. Don't miss it. DNA. 
a journey, exciting, exhilarating, scary, but safe.